right, in this video, I'm going to start looking at integrating some functions using what we call uh, oftentimes a, U, a substitution, a U substitution, uh, just because we label things using the letter U oftentimes. So, um, so to do this first example here, um, so we've got this integral of 4 over 3x plus 1 to the fifth. So kind of the things, I guess, you know, the, to recognize for something like this, the, the first thing I think about is, you know, if I just had a single variable downstairs, say if it was just x to the fifth, um, if it was just x to the fifth, I could move it upstairs, make it x to the negative fifth, and then I could start integrating that without too much trouble. But, you know, um, it's not just a single variable to the fifth power. But again, that kind of suggests to me something to pick for my u substitution. So I'm going to let u be the stuff in the parentheses, uh, 3x plus 1. And oftentimes, things that are being raised to a power, uh, a lot of times that is going to be what you pick for your u value. Not always, but what we do is we take, uh, we're technically calculating a differential. So the, uh, the differential here, it's like taking a derivative. You just get 3, um, and then we tack on our dx. Now, the way I think about it is, okay, so I'm going to start trying to relabel my original problem using this stuff. So the 4, you know, the 4 is still there. Um, you know, nothing really incorporated that. We're calling the stuff in the parentheses. That's what we're calling u. Okay, so we still have our fifth power. Nothing really got rid of that. Now, I need to replace the dx with something. Well, this is the equation that relates, you know, that involves dx. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the dx by itself. And to do that, I can just divide both sides by 3. So I'll have 1 third du equals dx. And that's what I'm going to replace the dx with, is my one-third du. And well now, uh, we have four times a third, that's just a constant, we can pull that out front. Uh, we would be left with one over u to the fifth. And what I'm going to do now is just again, you know, what I wanted to at the very beginning, bring this uh, up, and now I can integrate it just using the power rule. So if I integrate, let's see, we'll have four-thirds, We'll get u to the, let's see, we add 1 to the exponent, so that'll give us negative 4. Divide by that new exponent, negative 4. Um, we have to put on our plus c here. But now I'm going to do a couple things. So 4 over negative 4 would leave us with negative 1 over 3. Um, so now inside the brackets, we would just have the u to the negative 4. And I'm going to write that as u, uh, 1 over u to the positive 4th power plus c. And last but not least, what we'll do is we'll just replace our u with what we originally picked. So we said u is equal to 3x plus 1. So we'll have 3x plus 1, all raised to the fourth power, plus c. And that will now be our antiderivative. So um, u substitution, super, super, super common. Um, it's easy to pick, you know, a u that's kind of too big. Notice, you know, maybe the thing you, maybe you try to pick it to be everything, you know, 3x plus 1 to the fifth. Kind of the issue is, if you do something like this, when you do the du, you'd have to use the chain rule. So you'd get 5 times 3x plus 1 to the fourth times 3. And notice, you know, if you try to use something like this, the stuff on the bottom, that's what you would be calling u. And then you just have 4dx left over, and kind of the issue is, you know, all of this stuff, I should have put my dx on here, um, you know, all of this stuff isn't really present in the problem. So that's kind of the issue. If we pick u to be all of this, we kind of get too much when we do the, uh, the differential. And it doesn't, you know, again, it doesn't mean that a u substitution doesn't work. It just means you picked the wrong u substitution. So in general, when you're picking u substitutions, my advice is kind of start simple. Um, and then if that doesn't work, if you feel like it's not sort of knocking out enough of the problem, uh, you know, make it more complicated. And again, this will make more sense as you do more examples. I, I think use substitutions definitely kind of, uh, you know, it's a confusing thing at first, but um, when I look at a random problem, if I don't just immediately know how to do it or see some algebra or trig, use substitution is going to be always kind of the first trick that I think about.